Hello, it's Mr Thompson here again and I'm going to talk you through today um, some grade B at GCSE or level 8 material at Key Stage 3 and this is all about factorising quadratic expressions. Um, just to be clear, before you come onto this it might be a good idea to have, un um, to have gone through and understood expanding quadratic um, expressions. Uh, there's a video on my YouTube channel if you're unsure of that. Um, let's go through some of these key words uh, first, well all three of them actually. So just remember that factorising uh, means put into brackets. So every time you see the word factorising you have to be thinking, I've got to put something into brackets here. Um, quadratic just means that the highest power um, of x, for example, um, in here, the highest power of x is x squared, and they're normally arranged in descending powers of x. So this is x squared, this would be x to the power of 1, and this would be x to the power of 0, which of course is always 1. Uh, so that's what quad quadratic means. Uh, expressions is just um, in algebra a collection of numbers or letters, uh, and or letters, um, with no equal sign. It's not equal to anything, so you cannot solve it. Um, OK, so very quickly, um, let's uh, move on and go to our first example. OK, so we are being asked here to factorise x squared plus 9x plus 14. Uh, now that means put into brackets. Now you'll know from previous work on expanding uh, quadratics that what we need to do eventually is to have our answer in two pairs of brackets like this. And it will mean everything in the first bracket multiplied by, although we don't write it, there's, um, if you like, an invisible uh, multiply in there. Um, just get rid of that. Everything in that first bracket multiplied by everything in our second bracket there. So this is how you do it. You're looking to get an x squared. So the way we do that is we're going to have an x in both brackets. So x times x will give us x squared. Now the next bit slightly more complicated. What we need to do first is we need, obviously it will be already be arranged in descending power of, uh, powers of x, so x squared, x uh, to the power of 1, and x to the power of 0. You need to look at this number, the one with no x in it. And you also need to look at the sign in front of it, so this is plus 14. What we need to do is we're looking for two numbers that multiply together, two numbers that give us a product um, of plus 14. So of 14, we need to think what are our factors, what two numbers multiply together to give us plus 14. So I've got plus 1 and plus 14, or I have uh, plus 2 and plus 7. Okay, so now we've got these pairs of numbers that multiply together to give us 14, plus 14. What I'd now want to do is have a look at this, including the sign again, the plus 9x. So we're just at the minute we're just looking at the number in front of the plus 9x. What we need to do is we need to look at this plus 9 and decide which pair of factors add up, give us a sum of plus 9. And you can see if I add positive 2 and positive 7, they give us plus 9. So those are how we finish the brackets and I would always get into the habit of as we did when we were expanding double checking to see if you've got it right so we do that by remember multiplying this bracket x plus 2 including our sign by this bracket here x plus 7 so x, ti x times x in this box will give me x squared um, x times positive 2 in this box gives me plus 2x. Plus 7 times x um, gives me plus 7x. And plus 7 times plus 2 gives me plus 14. If I was to take all of this outside the box and collect all my like terms, I'm going to get x squared plus 9x plus 14. So we can see that we've got the same as what we started with. So when we did this, we got it absolutely right. So our two brackets are x plus 2 and x plus 7. Um, OK, I'm going to give you uh, an example for you to try. OK, if you want to pause the video here and have a go at this question, which is asking you to factorise x squared plus 5x plus 6.
Okay, so let's very quickly run through the answer here. We're being asked to factorise x squared plus 5x plus 6. So once again, do my two brackets, and we know that x and x will multiply together to give us x squared. Now we're looking for two factors of plus 6, so we have positive 1 and we have positive 6. We have plus 2 and we have plus 3. Now we're looking for which of those two numbers add together, give us a sum of plus 5, and you can see it here, it's plus 2 and plus 3. So that's how we're going to finish our brackets. x plus 2, x plus 3. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, it doesn't matter which way round you put them. Uh, I could put plus 3 and plus 2 in here. So you might have x plus 3 and x plus 2. That's also absolutely fine. OK, let's try something with the uh, where the difficulty is a little bit more. OK, so now we're being asked to factorise x squared minus 4x minus 45. So this is exactly the same, but here it becomes uh, a lot more important that we remember to include the sign. OK, so the first things first, two uh, things that multiply together to give me x squared. Well, that's going to help us start our bracket here with x and x. Now, the next thing we're going to do, as before, is we're going to look at the factors of minus 45, or negative 45. So we obviously have 1 and 45. Let's make that a minus 1. Minus 1 and minus 45. We also have minus 5 and 9. But if you think about it, a, po a negative and a positive will multiply us together to give us negative 45. So it doesn't matter which one of the pairs of uh, factors is negative as long as one of them is. So it could also go the other way. We could have minus 9 and 5, or we could have minus 45 and 1. Now we're looking for two a pair of these numbers that add together to give us this negative 4. So when we add negative 1 and 45 together uh, we're going to get 44. When we add negative 5 and 9 together we're going to get 4. When we add negative 9 and 5 together we're going to get negative 4. And when we add negative 45 and 1 together we're going to get negative 44. So the one we're looking for is this negative 4. So it's this pair of factors here. So it doesn't matter, as I said a minute ago, it doesn't matter uh, which way round they go. I'm going to write minus 9 and uh, plus 5. OK, um, remember you could always double check it by putting it into your grid. Um, OK, so I'm now going to give you another example. Uh, sorry, uh, the question to... OK, so if you'd like to pause the video and have a go at this question here, which is asking you to factorise x squared plus 4x minus 12. OK, so let's give you the answer to this question. So we're looking to factorise this. So as always, we're going to put our brackets in. So the two things that multiply together to give me x squared would be my x and my x. And then we're looking for two factors that multiply together to give us negative 12. Well, we could have negative 1 and 12. We could have negative 2 and 6. We could have negative 3 and 4. We could have negative 4 and 3. We could have negative 6 and 2. And finally, we could have negative 12 and 1. So the pair that add up to give us plus 4x are this pair here, minus 2 and plus 6. So we're going to put in here minus 2 and plus 6. Again, it doesn't matter which way around you put them, as long as one bracket has x plus 6 in and the other has x minus 2. OK, one final example, uh, the most difficult level for the time being. OK, finally, uh, we're going to factorise x squared minus 12x plus 27. So put my brackets in, it's going to start with x and x um, to get our x squared. Now, we'll, as, as we did before, remember to include the sign, we're looking for two factors of positive 27. So we obviously have 1 and 27, both positive. 
we have uh, 3 and 9. Now, those are all the positive factors. However, if you also remember, a negative multiplied by a negative will give us a positive. So we also have to think about negative 1 and negative 27 and negative 3 and negative 9 when we pair when we multiply together the product of any of these pairs of numbers will give us plus 27 so we're now looking for in our pairs of factors to that add together to give us this negative 12 so you can see the two in that list that pair together to give us sorry that multiply to give us negative 12 are negative 3 and negative 9 so that is how we finish this question negative x negative 3 and x take away 9 again you could multiply them out to check them expand them um, but I'm not going to here okay so I'm going to give you one question just to finish up OK, so I'm going to give you a bit of time if you want to pause the video and have a go at this final um, question, uh, the most difficult question I'm going to give you today. It's x squared, take away 13x, plus 42. I'd like you to factorise that for me, please. OK, so let's now very quickly run through the answer. So, obviously, you're going to start with your pair of brackets and we're going to start by putting in our x and our x so looking for our factors of plus 42 um, if we have a look we can think of a plus 1 and a plus 42 uh, we can also have plus 2 and plus 21 we could have plus 3 and plus 14 we could have plus 6 and plus 7. However, I'm going to have to continue the list over here as well. However, we could also have negative 1 and negative 42. We could have negative 2 and negative 21. Negative 3 and negative 14. And negative 6 and negative 7. So we're looking for a pair of these numbers that add together to give us negative 13. And you can see of all the numbers it's those two there so we have x take away 6 and x take away 7 okay if you want to uh, progress further I will do another video um, where for example I'll show you how to solve uh, sorry not solve factorize uh, quadratic expressions uh, like this and these are more difficult because the number in front of the x squared, or as we call it, the coefficient, um, isn't 1. There has been no number in front of the x squared um, So in all the questions we've tried, so it has actually only been uh, 1. But remember, we don't write 1 um, in front of in fr as a coefficient. So if you want to have another look um, at progressing and trying more difficult work, I will do a video on this. Uh, but for the time being, I hope that's been useful um, as ever if you want me to do a video specifically on any subject please do let me know thank you very much see you later